welcome back everyone my name is Adnan Chaudhary from page tutorials and today we will create a page curl effect in photoshop you can use any version it's just a layers effects and some folding technique it's not a big deal you can apply this on some mockups and some presentations looks it gives a great look to your presentations and the mockups it look like uh, the page is folding inside and uh, yeah it's very easy so let's start our work let's jump in photoshop i'm using photoshop cs6 you can use any version it's not a big deal the effect will be same and the met method will be same so we'll first create a new document the size of the document depends on your choice i would like to go with uh, 1200 by 1200 it's a uh, very simple and uh, exact size as we need so uh, we name this as paper for uh, okay so the resolution doesn't matter and the background contents is choice if you want to use any color you can use i would like to go with transparent as i don't need any color so click on ok nice now what we will do is uh, we will simply just need a background so we will select a dark color you can use any color i would like to go with dark color and uh, then we will select our pen tool and basically we use pen tool for our work so we will click anywhere uh, like uh, i would like to click uh, this side or maybe this side is nice and then we'll click uh, this very nice now once you press control uh, you can take it down this point center point and uh, we'll make it little closer and press control and you can move this handle also so I think we are fine with this one but uh, I would like to move this like this and then Make it like like uh, like this. I think it's nice here. Just play with it where you feel it's uh it's nice. So I think it's nice here. Now once you press Alt and click on this handle, you can move this anywhere. Okay. So the next point you will create will be in the direction of this handle. So I would like to make this direction on the top corner. So click here. And after that just click here and simply just click on this so the shape is closed now and if you can see that make sure that when you start this pen tool work you just need to convert this path to shape and now we'll change the color of this so we'll double click on this layer and we'll change it to white okay nice the basic thing is done now we want to create a shadow or, uh, or we can say that the background but before we do that we press ctrl D and we will size it up to make it matching according to our uh, needs so we will uh, we'll take it to the corner and it's nice here and now we need to click uh, on pen tool click here but before we could do anything else we will change the field color to uh sorry we don't want to change this color uh we'll get a new layer and we change the color to little other color like uh you can use any color it's not a big deal you just need to make difference okay now click here and click here follow the boundaries like this and uh Yes, you can just click around this shape, zoom it in to check the proper scaling, and now you can just uh, click and create this type of thing. Basically, we are filling this area. So, good. so we we'll close this shape at this time. Very nice. Now we'll click and drag it under this, and now we have a basic concept of our page curve okay now it's time to give some shadows and some effects to look like this page is folded so we'll select our top layer we'll name this as curl this should be under and this should be uh, foreground okay now we'll click on curl layer go to effects and we'll apply some 
a gradient there we go now it's a gradient so we we'll start it from here now what we'll do is it's a simple work just click on this gradient palette and we'll select this black gradient and click and create another gradient here and we'll change the color of this gradient to little uh, little like this color fair color a little bit and uh, we change this black color to little light color and then click here and we'll give it a color of this nice and uh, click ok we'll get back to glitter but before we go to anything else we will just rotate this direction so we'll change the angle to about about here I think it's nice here and uh, scale you can make it smaller as well so I would like to go with small scale it looks uh, pretty much realistic and uh, we we'll change this color also don't worry about that we'll make it 50% is nice and uh, it's a linear uh, it's linear I know that so click on this gradient palette again and now we'll adjust the setting so we will make it a little, little, uh, uh, we can say that uh, lighter. Then we will select our this color and make it fair. Look like it's uh, reflecting something, and we'll give a small area to this, like uh, this one. Very good. We can create another effect between them, them and we will make it. Uh, darker a little bit and then move it the forward take it to this side make it look like it's a curl but you can make it a little dark and make this one a little uh, we can say that uh, there. so now you can see that it's the uh, same but you can make it darker a little bit so there we go our basic effect is I think uh, done pretty much nicely we can make it a little closer so it could look uh, a little hard color so I think it's nice here you can make it a little, little white or you can make it a little dull color like this and then you can make this color also a little fair color and then you can make it a little darker color like this and then create another color and make it lighter like this and then click ok if satisfied with the settings you can use it and if you don't satisfy it you can rotate the scale also to check where you look uh, it looks nice so I think it's uh, much better here it looks a little metal big folded color so we are done with this one settings you can see that the angle is 59 degree and the scale is 50 you can scale 100 and you can scale it smaller so I would like to go with 50 and now uh, simple work we'll just go to drop shadow and we will drop a shadow and make it a little softer and speed a little bit and make it a little downside and now we will size it up a little bit more like, like this looks nice I think it's nice here and you can turn on the opacity or boost up the opacity is your choice so I would like to go with 70% and just play with the shadow where it looks nice you are fine so I think it's uh, it looks nice here yeah so hit ok and this is the basic page curve so you can make it uh, you can use it on any of your images like uh, you can use it uh, 
on a 1920 by 1080 background gives a cool look to your image let's just make it even like this this is the color basically so I would like to this, grab this one and we'll create a group for both and name this as a page a girl. Okay. and now we'll pick this and drag it on our 1080 background look at this you just need to change the shadow so if you don't want to change this it's your choice but look at this you can size it down as well like uh, make it smaller don't worry about that when you click check mark it will adjust this and there we go you can rotate this also to look like much much better like this so that's it i hope you like this video and once you see that the angle is disturbed just go to this page curl and uh, go to gradient and change the angle to where it looks nice and increase the scale where you feel it's, it, it looks better so i think it's look uh, better here so it okay there we go this is the page curl you can change the shadow technique also from here to shadows and adjust the shadows Turn off the speed, a little bit more speed, and you can do it like this. That's it. So, I hope you like this effect. If you like this effect, uh, or if you like this tutorial and found it helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. We'll meet in our next video. Never stop, never depend, and keep learning.